You may have heard of bar hopping. That's when a person will visit several bars in one evening. Well, today I'm talking about park hopping. Welcome to Mount Mama Family Lifestyle. My name is Mary. I am mom to six grown children. Three of them are married and my husband and I are expecting our eighth grandchild. It's a wonderful and fearful life. I like to talk about faith, food, fashion, function, and fun. Park hopping is an activity that I came up with when I was a young mother with half a dozen children to help me get through a summer day. Being a wife and mother and stay-at-home mom to six children has been my calling and my vocation, and I have absolutely loved it. It has been, and it still is, very rewarding, but it also has been very challenging. When my children were young, my life was full of laughter and happiness, and also it was very labor intensive. And sometimes the days were long and tedious and even monotonous. So I came up with park hopping as a way to get us all out of the house for some fresh air and sunshine and exercise and fun. We lived in a small town that had three parks that were very close to each other, maybe a mile away from one another. And I would pile all the kids in the van and we would hit the first park and play for 20 to 30 minutes. This is key, at least 20 minutes, but no longer than 30 minutes. This was long enough for the kids to get a good dose of the park, but not long enough for them to get tired and bored of it. After 30 minutes, they usually wanted to stay longer, but I said, no, get in the van, we're moving on. Then we would hit the second park and repeat. When I had a toddler, I had to stay very close to the playground to ensure her safety. But as she got older and was old enough to play on her own with the rest of the gang, I would sit and watch from a nearby bench or I would walk around a path around the playground and get in some exercise for myself while the children played. After 20 to 30 minutes, it was time to giddy up and go to the next park. The kids would all come running and laughing to the van and we would take off on our adventure to the next park. After our third park, we would head to the Lion's Choice fast food restaurant. They offered a mini soft serve ice cream cone for 10 cents. Can you believe it? 10 cents. For a dollar or less, we could all enjoy an ice cream treat. The cones were tiny, perfect for a small child, and the older kids would get two. Of course, a 12-year-old boy should get more to eat than a three-year-old girl. That's not even, but it is fair, very fair. Now, if it was extremely hot, as it can be in Missouri in the summertime, we would plan our park hopping to be done early in the morning. This way, the air was not stifling hot and the playground was not too hot to touch. So we would leave maybe by 9 a.m. and that way we could be home before noon. This activity that I named park hopping helped keep my sanity on those long summer days when I had no other activities or errands to run to get us out of the house. It got us all outside, which is so important for physical, mental, and emotional health for children and for mom. It helped us all to be more content back home in play and in chores, and it was free or mostly free. I think today without an option for a 10 cent ice cream cone, I would head to Walmart, I would buy a box of ice cream treats like ice cream sandwiches or popsicles or what have you. We'd go to the van, we'd, we'd eat our ice cream out in the parking lot, and then head home to put any leftovers in the freezer. Also, I would not do this more than once a week or maybe even once every other week. This kept it special and very fun for the kids. And so when I just felt like I needed to get out, or maybe I felt like we all needed to get out to release some nervous energy, I would say, kids, get in the van, we're going park hopping. And they would all come running and rearing to go. This worked greatly. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.